Hey everyone, so it's Hearth and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we are going to be talking about the dreaded Mercury Retrograde. What it is, why you shouldn't be concerned about it, and the things you can do during the Mercury Retrograde to help improve your experience with it. So within the past couple of years, information about the Mercury Retrograde has been popping up practically everywhere. But especially online, everyone seems really quick to blame the Mercury Retrograde for almost all of their problems. But what is the Mercury Retrograde? And is Mercury the only planet that goes into retrograde? Well, first things first, Mercury is not the only planet to go into retrograde. In fact, all of the visible planets that we can see from Earth are known to go into retrograde, but it's also likely that planets beyond what we can visibly see also go into retrograde, so it's definitely not just Mercury. What is a planetary retrograde? Well, the planets all orbit around the Sun. They all travel in a single direction. They're always moving forwards. However, from the perspective of Earth, the planets can either be moving forwards, direct, or they can appear to be moving backwards or in retrograde. So that's what we mean when we talk about planets going into retrograde. They are no longer following their direct movements. They appear to be moving against their normal orbit from the perspective of Earth. But in reality, the planets are continuing their orbit as always, but to us, they appear to be moving backwards against their standard orbit, and so they are considered to be in retrograde. So what does a planet mean when it goes into retrograde? Well, all of the planets within our solar system have correspondences associated with them. They each are believed to have control over certain areas of our life. Now, usually this is in a positive way. They can assist in love, they can assist in communication. But during the retrograde, it's believed that the energies and associations with these planets are reversed. So for instance, when Venus goes into retrograde, it's believed that there is difficulty within romantic situations. When Mercury goes into retrograde, it's believed that there is difficulty with communication, with the interaction between people. And so it is believed that during the Mercury retrograde, we can have a lot more issues communicating what we want to say, communicating with people. We can have arguments with people, disagreements that we wouldn't normally be getting into. And a lot of people are starting to be really concerned about the Mercury retrograde. And in some cases, people actually fear the Mercury retrograde. But why is the Mercury retrograde not something to be feared? Well, the planets have been going into retrograde for longer than life has existed on the Earth. For as long as the planets have had a standard orbit, they have been going into retrograde from the perspective of Earth. It's just that no one was here to actually see it. Nowadays, we can tell that the planets are going into retrograde, but in reality, they have been doing it for far longer than any of us know. Now, for a lot of the people within the astrology, witchcraft, spiritual or pagan communities, the planets have been going into retrograde for longer than they likely had any knowledge about retrogrades. And it's likely that back then, you didn't realise anything was different. But if you did notice that things were different, it definitely wasn't the end of the world. Retrogrades should not be something to be feared. They are a completely natural process within the universe. They are something that has always happened since our universe was created and will continue to go on for far longer than we are existing on this planet. And so the Mercury retrograde shouldn't be something to be feared. It should be something to work with, much like how we work with planets while they are in their direct phase. We can also work with them while they're in their retrograde phase. Now this is important because a lot of people panic when it comes to retrograde season and the planets go into retrograde a lot more frequently than most people even realise. So the Mercury retrograde generally lasts for three weeks before we return back to direct planetary movement. Sometimes it can be up to five times a year that Mercury goes into retrograde. So it goes very, very frequently, and a lot of people don't even notice. So the Mercury retrograde, or any retrograde, shouldn't necessarily be something to be feared. 
It can instead be worked with. Much like we work with the planets while they're in their direct phase, we should also work with them while they're in their retrograde phase. It's important to know that there is balance within the universe, balance within life. We can't solely have good communication all the time, and actually the Mercury retrograde assists us in seeing the flaws and the faults within our form of communication, within our relationships, within our friendships. It may well be that the Mercury retrograde brings up the flaws and the cracks that we tend to brush over within everyday life, and it can help us improve our relationships and our communication in the long run. It's also a good time to take a step back, to enjoy time just for yourself instead of trying to communicate, trying to socialise with lots and lots of people. It could be a really good time to take some time to reflect on yourself, within yourself, to make self-improvements. But, of course, if you have a job that requires a lot of communication or if you feel as though you're very connected to the energy of Mercury, you may find that the Mercury retrograde can negatively affect your life, your work, your progress, and you may want to undertake workings during the Mercury retrograde to assist in improving communication. Now, it's important to note right here that not everyone feels the effects of the retrogrades the same as everyone else. Some people are very closely connected to the planet and may experience retrograde energy a lot stronger than other people, while some people may feel absolutely nothing, and each retrograde may affect each individual completely differently. So just a little note there that if you maybe aren't experiencing the retrograde quite the same as someone else, that is completely normal. Not everyone is going to have the same reaction to each planet going into each retrograde. So what can you do during the Mercury retrograde to help improve communication? Well, there are two routes that you can take with this. You can either work with the planetary energy. For this, you leave out an altar or you leave out offerings or you leave out a candle working to connect and act as an offering to the planetary energy that is currently going into retrograde. So in my case, it would be a Mercury candle that is left out as an offering for Mercury as a planet. But the other way you can go about working through the Mercury retrograde or any retrograde is to have an altar or to undertake workings to assist in improving the aspects of the retrograde that are working in negative. So for the Mercury retrograde, you could undertake candle spells or pout spells, whatever kind of workings you choose to do to help improve communication and interactions. So those are kind of the two different techniques that you can use. You can either leave offerings to the planetary energy to help ease the Mercury retrograde or any retrograde, or you can work with the negative aspects of the retrograde to help improve them in your life. So, for instance, if Venus was in retrograde, you would want to work with romance workings or love workings. If Mercury in particular is in retrograde, it's good to work with communication, interactions between people. Reconciliation, for instance, is a really good working that you may need during the Mercury retrograde to help smooth over any kind of issues you have or any arguments that have been had during the Mercury retrograde. So lastly, I'm just going to go through a few correspondences that may help you put together your own Mercury retrograde working for improving communication or to leave out as offerings for the planet Mercury. So colours. Colours can be used on altars, they can also be used in candle spells and in pouch workings. So the colours of the planet of Mercury are yellow, orange and grey. These are really wonderful colours to work with. I personally work best with yellow for Mercury, but of course everyone is completely different. So good herbs for working through the Mercury retrograde are rosemary, peppermint, lavender and hyssop. And lastly, good crystals to work with during the Mercury retrograde are fluorite for balance, yellow calcite for self-reassurance, labradorite for communication, amazonite for communication, blue lace argate also for communication, green moss argate and aventurine for working with Mercury planetary energies. So hopefully some of these correspondences will help assist you in making your own working, if desired, to work with either the energy of the planet of Mercury or to assist in improving communication in your life during this season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a like. 
If you have any questions, comments, concerns, video ideas, or just want to chit chat with the community down in the comment section, feel free to post a comment. I try to get back to as many as I can, but as the community is growing, it is taking me a little bit longer, so please bear with me. And if you enjoy the magical content on this channel or in this video, feel free to hit subscribe. It really means a lot to me to know that the community is growing so much, like, it's just so nice to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful for the coming Mercury retrograde, and I hope you have a wonderful Mercury retrograde season. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video on either Wednesday or Saturday at 6pm. Bye! Thank you.